Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome to the bass channel. Today we are checking out the BP200 amplifier from Phil Jones Bass. <laughs> A couple things to note about this video today. All of our sound clips today are provided by our good friend Jamie Lewis. So go ahead and check him out on his channel. He does Twitch streaming and obviously YouTube videos, and he's a great friend of the channel. And Jamie's riffs were all pre-recorded via wiretap and then re-amped through the Phil Jones, and then it's being picked up by an RE20 microphone. The RE20 signal, sitting in front of one of those 2x5 cabinets, is being blended with the post-EQ direct signal from the amplifier head as well. <laughs> The Phil Jones BP200 is a tiny little amp head that is marked Microforce because it's a small head that packs a lot of power. The 200 in the name, of course, refers to the fact that it's 200 watts, but it's only 200 watts if you're running a 4 ohm load through it. So we've used a pair of 2x5 cabinets, also from Phil Jones, to get that full 4 ohm load. Now, I'm a big fan of Phil Jones bass amps from way back. I had a, a briefcase at one point. I had a six-pack amplifier at one point um, and really enjoyed them. They had great sound quality, and those tiny little speakers somehow can move so much air. It's, it's really cool. Uh, it's a unique technology, I think, in the bass world. All right, so I was a little bit mistaken. It's 210 watts at four ohms, not 200. So that's good to know if you need an extra 10 watts. The frequency response is 16 hertz to 20K. The maximum output at eight ohms is 120 watts. The manual says at least 120 watts, but I don't know how much more it could be. And then it says, of course, at least 210 watts at 4 ohms. Signal to noise ratio is greater than or equal to 85 decibels. It's got passive input, active input, and an auxiliary input for jamming along with external music tracks. It only weighs two and a half pounds or so, and it is seven inches wide, two inches high, seven inches deep approximately. It's got your typical three band EQ, but I'll tell you, it's a little bit different than you might be used to. The bass is centered at 100 hertz and it's plus or minus 15 dB. That's fairly normal. The treble is a shelving at 10K, plus or minus 15 dB, also fairly normal. But the mid control is wider than anything I've ever heard of before. It's got a center at 1K, but it actually spans from 120 hertz all the way up to 10 kilohertz. So that's pretty wide uh, on the mids, don't you think?
So we do a lot of hard rock and heavy metal on this channel, but Phil Jones bass amps really shine with a nice, punchy, clean bass tone. So Jamie's provided us a lot of jazzy, funky riffs to really, really make this amp shine. So we all know that Phil Jones cabinets with the little tiny speakers can push a lot of air, but this head only does have 200 watts, 210 watts uh, technically, so it's going to be good for home practice, rehearsals, maybe small coffee shop gigs, busking if you hook a battery up to it. Um, so it's not going to be, you know, super powerful for a club setting or something like that. But still, it's worth a look. It's crisp, it's got a clean tone, it's portable, and it's fairly versatile. Uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out with us the BP200 amplifier as part of the Micro Force from Phil Jones Bass. I'm Dave, this is the Bass Channel. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.